28th of July, my name's Hope from New Shape Corrigan and I'm here to bring you books Nintendo News Weekly Wrap. Now it's been a pretty big week in gaming news this week for Australians because we had PAX for the first time ever in Australia last week held in Melbourne. Nintendo was thankfully for us one of the few big companies that actually had a show floor. So first I'm going to tell you a little bit about what you could experience on the Nintendo side of things at PAX Australia. With a brand new convention in Australia, Australia fans also got a brand new opportunity with the Pokemon Video Game Championships coming to Australia for the first time as we're normally a country that's not really considered in this. Now, the finals for Australia were held in packs, people got flown over from states and the person who won the finals is going to be flown over to Vancouver for the ultimate challenge. There were some pretty intense fights happening there and it was all broadcasted live so everyone could go watch. And the atmosphere and crowd was amazing. If someone were our Pokemon, people didn't expect it here. Whoa! Or if someone was low on health, you know, the crowd would hold their breath. And if you want to be a part of that, we filmed a lot of it. So I've put a link to that and you can go have a look. What this hopefully means is we'll also be considered in future video game championship competitions. So, you know, start your EV training now. One of the things PAX is known for is having tons of panels. And one of the Nintendo panels that we went and had a look at was the Animal Crossing one. Now, it was just a video, but it was pretty cool as it featured two of the directors from Animal Crossing New Leaf and the producer answering questions that had been picked off the Facebook page and various other social medias. So it was questions that everyone wanted to see answered. And we've also filmed that because we're that awesome and I'll link you to that as well. In addition to these panels and events, Nintendo had a whole section of the floor to themselves where a lot of the playable titles from E3 were available for us down under to have a look at. Not only this, but there was a sit-down area for people with portable gaming, so if you just wanted to sit down and chill with your fellow PAX goers, have a bit of Mario Kart action, that was definitely an option to you as well. But even in addition to this, Nintendo seemed to spread throughout the floor as you looked at lines where you had panels and you couldn't not see someone with a 3DS clearing out their massive street pass list. It was full of PAX and it was kind of cool to see the Nintendo culture spread that far across the realm. Now, if I've piqued your interest enough in what Nintendo was like at PAX Australia, we've got a couple of write-ups of everyone's opinions, we've got a full write-up on the Pokemon tournament, all on our website, so hit that up if you want to know what PAX will be like maybe next year. Penny Arcade Expo aside, some other Nintendo news this week is that Call of Duty Ghosts has finally been 100% confirmed for the Wii U. For some reason, Activision weren't really giving us the definite get-go until recently, so now we know that you can definitely pick up that game and its puppy on the 5th of November. In a little over two weeks, it looks like we'll be seeing a white standalone 3DS XL for purchase here in Australia, which is pretty cool to see outside of a bundle, especially as we've been having the same three colours for a really long time now. Three, not four. Now hopefully what this means is that maybe we'll get to see even more colours for the 3DS XL that other countries get that we always seem to miss out on, and hopefully we won't actually have to import them. Have you picked up Pikmin 3 yet? And you're interested in the wonderful 101? Well, I hope you got on the Nintendo eShop because Nintendo Australia have announced a sort of a bundle deal for users who pick up Pikmin 3 on the Nintendo eShop between the 27th of July and the 21st of September, they can get 30% off the Wonderful 101. We've kind of predicted the Wonderful 101 to retail for about $79.95, so this will bring it to about $55.97, thereabouts, which is a pretty good deal, and you get two great games. Did we see you at PAX Australia or did you attend and not see us? Leave us a comment and let us know what you thought of the new event. And if you're playing Pikmin 3, let us know what you're thinking of that as well. Well, that's it from me on this Nintendo News Weekly Wrap, and I'll be back next week to give you your news in Nintendo.